What's up, Doobie Boy 21? Coming here with another video and a very important one with that also. Like you saw me on my sled, I had a choice either of crossing this body of water, which is a river, and probably maybe making it, or sinking and probably dying with that too. So, how many of you out there? those evil can evils that just don't care about just crossing a body of water that you don't know if it's frozen or not or if it's frozen enough how many of you out there have families and how many of you out there think twice before doing something that you shouldn't have done like right here what you can see right here is a waterfall so I'm pretty sure that beneath that ice the waterfall is still continuing and it's still running very strong and the current under this body of water right here is actually pushing towards the sea and the ice right here even though it looks pretty uh, jam-packed just put a 400 pound or 500 pound plus you on it maybe you, uh, you weigh 200 pounds it's got 600 pounds on this uh, very thin ice right here it doesn't take much to break the ice your snowmobile goes through the ice and it can probably drag you along with it and you end up what dead so this is because I saw this uh, on the news lately kids crossed a, a body of ice like this and they thought it was safe because somebody had made it before when it was colder and of course it got a little bit hotter outside and the ice probably melted a bit and the two kids went through the ice both of them dead and guess what they only found one body so before you guys think about actually crossing the ice on a snowmobile make sure that somebody actually checked it first and measured the ice and make sure it's a lake and not a river Lakes have less current than rivers. But if it was for me, I would never cross ice, either a lake or even a river. So this was just my uh, little rant here, that uh, going on the ice with a snowmobile is taking a whole shitload of chances. So you only have one life, man. And if you want to keep snowmobiling and enjoy the rest of your life, well, think, think twice about before going on the ice like this. Even though it looks safe, I'm pretty sure that if I went on this right now with my snowmobile, I'd go through with go through it. Especially if you see over there, you see that some water is moving. So it's not fully frozen up. See you guys later and sorry I just had to talk about it. Alright, bye bye.